righty, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob and I've got Adzi back with me. What's going on, man? Not much, mate. Good to be here for this one. Oh, you got your fucking Jason Voorhees on, getting ready for your fucking uh, kill fest. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> mate, definitely. Nothing more I love to talk, do is talk about the best franchise ever. It's Friday the 13th. They might not be the best movies, not in the best top 20 movies ever, but it's still the best fucking franchise without yeah. a doubt. Uh, it's my favourite horror franchise by far. There's one. Uh, no, it's up there with my favourite actual franchises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's some sure. fantastic franchises, but this is, I, I still think, the best franchise ever. Yeah. Uh, so this is a little bit different today. It's still a uh, movie draft, but um, the way uh, we can pick the same. We can pick the same in this one. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll put the rules up so we can have the same picks. It's all good. We start from pick five to one. Uh, so from our personal fifth best uh, Friday the 13th movie all the way to our favourite Friday the 13th movie. Um, mm -hmm. Explain why that movie is in that spot. Viewers, v vote on the best top five, their favourite top five uh, that we've um, done. And which box set would you buy, basically? Mm. Uh, we might have the same total five movies, which is fine. Uh, but we'll reveal our best Friday the 13th movie last. I've already done on this channel a uh, ranking system for the Friday the 13th. This is not going to be exactly the same because I've now watched them all again because I watch them all once a year, the whole lot, and my opinions change every time I watch them. You see certain little things and little things uh, really spark out at me, and um, there's things I love about them. I love. There's not a bad Friday the 13th movie. Let's just say that. Yeah, They're all I agree. Good. They're I, all good. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. For different reasons, you know, and like, just, and well, I just totally agree good. with that change as well. They change, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, yeah, just yeah. because one of them might be my least favorite doesn't mean it's crap or I hate it. So don't be hating. So yeah, you vote who uh, you think has the best top five um, personal picks. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's a little bit different. We're not going to do a race on this one, Adzi, because um, we don't really need it because uh, we will nah. be choosing a lot of the same. I'm going to let you go first. Uh, uh -huh. because, uh, that's just the way it is, man. That's just the way it is. <laughs> Thanks, uh, you're buddy. number five out of the out of the twelve uh, movies that are possible choices. What is your fifth favorite Friday the Thirteenth movie? Well. Um... Not because it's number five, but I'm going with part five. Um, okay. Uh, a New Beginning. Yeah. Um, yes, I love this film. Um, uh, but like you said, I love them all. But this one yep. tickles tickles my fancy because it's uh, uh, just some of the characters <coughs> and some, some of the, um, uh, it, like, uh, the big fella at the beginning with the chocolate bar. You know, like yeah, uh, yeah, it, yeah. Some, some of the stuff in this and he gets axed to death. And I'm like, thank you. You know, like yeah. there's some scenes in this where I'm and the dance he sequence. He dirtied the sheets. He shouldn't it's, have fucking put chocolate on the sheets. Just 100%. And he's got it same. all over his face. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> is someone going to ax this boy to death? You know, yeah. and and the dance sequence, of course, that dance yeah. sequence, that. Yeah. I'm oh, Madonna, Madonna girl. Oh my god! Like I, you just watch it just for that, you know, and yeah. um, you know, and I like. I, I, I mean, it does change the whole, uh, you know, uh, the supernatural element. But I do like the fact that um, uh, Jason at the end is the dad of the big kid yeah. uh, who gets killed at the beginning. I do like that twist, but that's the only uh, negative I have. And all of uh, I love the the uh, the final girl in it. Uh, especially because she wears a white wet T-shirt through the last 20 minutes yeah. of the film. It's not because yeah. of that, but she, she is great in it. And she's, um, and yeah, just all of them. They're, they're, uh, I, I like all the characters for different reasons. And yeah, it's so much fun. I'm, I was disappointed they didn't continue on from the ending because I thought the ending was good. Um, yeah. But uh, it is what it is. I think there was, remember, we were just kids back then uh, in the 80s. So I don't know how they got, feedback that they did with our internet back then in the 80s but anyway I, I i do like that movie i think it's a good movie uh my favorite scene in that movie i gotta tell you is demon yeah uh, the brother yep 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 Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah baby Ooh, baby yeah baby 
<laughs> oh, and and his his death scene as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah. It's it, like for me, like you know how much I love like showgirls and shit like that. Yeah. This film is like the showgirls of the series, yeah. and like the lead, the lead star in it, the lead, uh, the guy who's playing, um, what's his name, um, uh, the Corey Feldman character, uh, Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Tommy Jarvis. Uh, Freaking, uh, uh, oh my god, uh, he's so wooden, and uh, yeah. and like you know, he's all right. He, he does all right, doesn't he? Yeah, he does all right. He's just so wooden, and uh, but I like that, and I like I just like how silly this film is. But it's so much fun. Like with these films, most of them I have so much fun with. Some of them are really dark, but some of them, yeah, are, just, most of them are just like they're a hoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that's a that's a good pick. Um, good number five, man. A good number five. Hey, my my uh, personal um, fifth one. Which has just um, only bumped up in my um, in my uh, rankings. It wasn't in my top five when I did my rankings, but it is now. Um, after watching it again, it is fucking fantastic movie. It's Jason uh, Takes Manhattan, uh, oh. number eight. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't in my five before, but it's gone up a couple of spots in the list since I watched it last. There is a few different scenes that are a bit crap, but I fucking love the fucking start um, where he's fucking just that small boat that's going past that electrocutes him, fucking wake him up, and then he's on that fucking small boat that goes to the big one and then they're off to Manhattan. I know they're not in New York for long, but holy shit. When he fucking... Just that scene, um, the cinematography. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just the cinematography when he kicks that fucking dude's radio. Yeah, yeah. That is just fantastic. Like when he finally comes up off the boat and all that and he's looking around at the Big Apple, that is just a fucking great scene. There is just so many good little things in it. Um, kind of little mini story in there as well with the girl and her fucking uh, doctor, psych, psych guy um as mm. well trying to solve some problems and he was a dick he deserved to die but there was some fucking and the mum dying in the car was fucked uh <laughs> but um there was some um and just even on the little small fucking boat trying to get to new york jason still fucking follows <laughs> it's just it's just it's different. crazy i think i like it so much and it's brought me to bumping it up in the top five is because it's not at Camp Crystal Lake. It's different. It's on the boat. It's then in New York. I don't like the ending bit where he fucking uh, turns into that little child at the end. I fucking hate that bit. I think that's what <laughs> always made me put it down in the rankings. But yeah. after watching it again and again and just not long ago, it's definitely bumped up because guitar to the face, <laughs> that's my favourite kill in it. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant, and like it's it's the kills are done so well, and like, but you can tell they were cut. But I mean, like yep. the cuts are perfect, so like yep. you still get that impact of the kill. Like, um, there's a there's not many, but there's a couple of deaths in the franchise where you can tell, um, it just needed a just a bit more to make it like more vicious. But uh, this yep. one's vicious, and. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Um, and I love the the bit, yeah, like you were talking about with the creepy uh, uh, teacher guy and yeah. the girl laying on the bed with all the organs. Drawn oh, yeah, on her yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was fantastic. And so, like, <laughs> and, she, and she's like, here's my project. Yeah. And she's drawn all the – and I thought that was great. And, um, yeah, yeah, there's some – and uh, her, uh, the scene with the mirror. And there's there's so much stuff to just uh, – and obviously uh, the best kill in the in the film. Is the I'll, I'll let you talk about this one, mate. <laughs> well, no, my my favorite kill. Oh, are you talking about the boxing scene? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that is the best kill. My my personal favorite kill is just the fucking guitar to the head. That was a fucking oh no, brutal. That, that's your favorite. That was, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was brutal. Yeah. But the boxing yeah. scene on top of the, that was a cool boxing match. And <laughs> he's and you he just he's, he's going. going ape. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's going. fucking. He's, He's given fucking uh, Jason a good fucking what for, but then Jason just gives him a nice uppercut. There goes the head into the bin. Yeah, and the bin <laughs> closes, and it's like, yeah, yeah. 
thank you very much. No, that is that is of course the best scene. I I like the uh, guitar kill scene for yeah. it's just funny because she thinks she's such a rock star. Yeah, she thinks she's such a rock star, and uh, filming it down in the fucking basement with that fucking the, nerd. Also, the randomness that, of it as well. <laughs> Also, that black girl that's in the disco room where he fucking just picks her straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some, oh. there's some fucked up. There's some fucked up kills in that movie. There actually is some fucked up kills in the yeah. movie. I think it's a, I think it's a very underrated one, and that needed to be chucked in my top five. So, what is your four favorite uh, Friday Thirteenth? Um, this this is so hard because I, I I'm like you. I love them all. I love um, them all. Uh, I've got to go with the original. As my number four. Um, yeah, I, I love the original. Um, it started the whole thing. And, uh, um, of course, Jason isn't in the original. Um, but uh, it's just a really, really Until good horror end. film. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good uh, choice. But was there enough blood in that movie to make it relevant for a top five? <laughs> of course there was <laughs> enough blood in there. <laughs> oh, uh, Tom, Tom Savigny or Savigny? Uh, he's he's. Oh uh, my god, he's so good. But uh, believable if, some of the effects that have fucking happened in that movie. Kevin Bacon's yeah. kill scene. <laughs> yeah, arrow, and it just starts moving, and you're like, brilliant. But um, yeah, with this one, it's just so good from beginning, middle, and end. Like just yep. as a as a, a horror film, because you don't know what it's going to lead to like yep. you know uh, 12 films of uh, uh, yes. pure pure awesomeness but uh, um it uh, yeah it's just uh, uh, and all the acting is great um i think it's adrian king um as as the final girl she's great and of course Alice um, the, yeah and uh, um uh, the mvp is uh, um uh, mrs Voorhees. i think it's betsy palmer Yep. Uh, and uh, she's the killer in the original, and uh, she gets the best kill on herself. Uh, um, Alice uh, beheads her, and fantastically done. Um, and yeah, and then finally at the end, you finally see um, our boy Jason pop up out of the water and grab Alice and pull her uh, out of the boat. But uh, she's only, uh, it's only like a dream sequence. But uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I, I adore the original but it's still my number four there's three more that i love even more <laughs> uh, well I, I love that movie too did you want me to do one of my little in movie impressions yeah definitely yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, where's the boy where's the boy that was in the lake <laughs> where's the, where's the boy? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love that fucking bit at the end where, where's the boy <laughs> Where's the boy? The boy. Where's the boy? boy? <laughs> Very good. I love it. Where's his glasses? Um, <laughs> nah, fantastic movie. And uh, the the hairy hands when she gets her head chopped off. Oh, uh, it's Tom, isn't it? It's. Uh, I think it's Tom Savini. It's either Tom Savini or uh, one of the other guys. But yeah, it's fucking playing. Uh, oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. The fact that yeah, yeah the, you the can see the continuity. You can see the hair on the fucking hands <laughs> when she gets the head chopped off. Yeah, so and don't quote me on this. Uh, comment down below if you know, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's Tom uh, uh, with the hands. No, so, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. Tom, Tom swung. Uh, it's the other guy. Um, Tom swung the uh, machete. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yep. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you watch. Because there's he another knew thing. He Sorry, knew man. where to hit the head. He knew where to hit the head. I seen an I seen the interview with him. He that's knew right. Where to that's a hundred percent right. It's in the uh, Camp Crystal Lake. Uh, yes. Uh, if you haven't seen that, oh my um, god, memories, memories. You got to watch it. It's so it's so good. Best and, eight hours uh, you'll ever watch. It's wicked, you know. And you yeah. watch it like um, after you've done the whole marathon of the films. You, you watch that after, and it's so much fun as well. You know. It's, and, yeah. That's a bloody good doco. It is. That is one of the best horror docos ever. <laughs> it is. By far, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. All right. My uh, 
my number i'm just trying to find my fucking loose there it is okay so <laughs> my um number four is friday the 13th part three from 1982 nice uh this is a definite uh top four movie for me um this is where jason finds his hockey mask this is the one with the bikers. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Shelly, Shelly, mate. Shelly <laughs> is such an annoying fucking prick in this movie. Um, yeah. I couldn't wait for him to fucking die because you knew he was going to die with all the fucking pranks that he is playing fucking on everyone. He was going to eventually get it. But thank you, Shelly, for bringing the hockey mask into it. Uh, fantastic i do love the death scene when i can't remember her name uh she's picking up um shelly's wallet from the uh lake and as she looks up she oh. thinks it's, she thinks it's shelly yeah and i suppose that's what the 3d part yeah and the arrow goes straight through her eye that looks fucking brilliant but this is a fucking good movie really good yeah. movie yeah uh 100 agree and uh yeah, I'm trying to think of her name, but she's and she's great in it as well because she has to put up with Shelley's bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, but uh, um, I, I like Shelley. Like I like uh, he's very very irritating, obviously. But uh, I like the fact when he stands up against the bikers and he's so yeah. proud of himself. Oh, but that when he stands up against the bikers is fucking awesome. <laughs> and I don't like him because uh, he's the most narcissistic character in the whole franchise by far. Yeah. He yeah. the only thought is about himself, but yeah. uh, it, it, like he, I just find him. I don't know. I just find him uh, like you. You can't take your eyes off him when he's doing this stupid shit. And when yeah. he finally dies, I'm I'm just like yeah, uh, just waiting for it, you know. But uh, yes, uh, I've, I won't talk the, too much about this one. <laughs> the main the main girl, the main girl that survives, Chris. Um, she. She's pretty good. She's a pretty good final girl. I gotta, I gotta admit, she's actually mm. fucking very clever, very smart um, in it and all that as well. Um, she doesn't get her uh, titties out, so that's why she survives. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's the but, truth? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bikies. I can't remember the the main uh, the black bikey chick's name. Is it Roxy or something? I can't remember. Anyway. She, yeah, she's got such. <laughs> she plays that character so good, and she's got such an attitude, and it's she's such an '80s biker chick. Um, yeah, and the other two bikers with her are freaking funny as well. They all deserve to die in the bar. Yeah, they freaking all yeah. deserve to die. Freaking, it was great. This is a fantastic uh, Friday Thirteenth. If you haven't seen Part Three, definitely watch Three D. Watch it in Three D. No, don't watch it in Three D. But watch. <laughs> Well, you can, uh, like, if you've got a 3D yeah, telly. Can. Yeah, if you've got a 3D <laughs> yeah, telly. Well, you have to have the Shout Factory edition as well because that's the only one with the proper 3D, but you can watch the 3 with the paper glasses, yeah. which uh, will give you a migraine, but you can still do that if yeah. you're so, so inclined. <laughs> this is the one where uh, he gets the axe in the head and then all of a sudden he goes... <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a good oh, scene. God. Well, yeah. I love it. Yeah. All righty, that was my uh, number four. You've done four, so what's your th number three? <laughs> my number three is 3D. <laughs> 3D? Nice, yeah, nice. No, my number three is number three again, like number five. Um, yeah, no, it, it, I wasn't planning this either because I, I ranked them all and then I cut away from five to one. So, yeah, um, I, I, I honestly wasn't planning this, but uh, yeah, my number three is part, part three, it's all 3D. Um, and yeah, I totally second everything uh, uh, you just said about it. I think it's fantastic. I love the fact it's uh, the origin of the mask, uh, yep. how, how the mask gets into it. Yep. And yeah, I love I love all the death scenes. Um, uh, there's another one that I love uh, where a guy's, uh, I think it's three or it could be another one. Is it three where he gets, where he's doing the walking on his hands? No, I don't think it is. No, that's that's a different one that I will no, talk I think about. That is number three, isn't it? Um, and they're up Were in the hammock. They're up in the hammock there. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'll get confused with another one. But that's a cool. No, that's feeling. number four. Yeah, the uh, the all the kills in the barn in this one are fantastic. Yeah, the kills like, are basically the barn, 
And this is yeah. the guy with the this is the one. Is this, the, this is the one with the guy in the wheelchair that goes down the stairs. No, that's two. No. Which where he gets the uh, thing. You know, the problem is, is that they show yeah. in the first four films. Yeah. They show you the highlights, so you get confused about yeah, which kills yeah, it and yeah, which. Yeah, yeah. No, two's the one where he gets the machete in his face. Oh, and um, down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the, the, yeah, that's the funny <laughs> skill. Not because he's in a wheelchair, but yeah, kind of because he's in a wheelchair. No, you, can see, you can see the <laughs> dummy in the wheelchair just going. Oh, that's hilarious. That's a good kill. That's a good kill. All right, so your so your number three is three. Yeah, is three, yeah, yeah. You don't have to go my, longer into this one. <laughs> my number three is part four, the final chapter. Oh, okay. Uh, the final chapter to me was that annoyed me when I um watched it when I was younger and saw it was called the final chapter and then saw that there was more movies after it because you didn't understand when these were already made when we were watching them. But it made sense that they were trying to kill him off and all that. But um, Corey Feldman does a pretty damn good job in this um, movie. Yeah, he the does. Sister, yeah, yeah. The sister and the mum, fantastic as well. Uh, this has got the same – it is the same – type of story because like the first four let's be honest the first four because they're all in the camp and all that kind of got the same feel and the same story it's really about what had the better actors and the better fucking uh the the better kills and all that this one i thought was fucking fantastic like i said because of uh cory feldman he just did a damn good job the sister <laughs> she was cool trish was it <laughs> um <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Her trying to walk past Jason when he's uh knocked when he's knocked out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh get a nice yeah. jump through the window scene. Everything about this movie. Yeah, is definitely, uh, it's been this is a lot of people's number one. Was it? <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of people's uh, number one. Um, I'm not saying I'm not gonna say any more because I know you've definitely got this on your top three, and I know you want, want to talk about it a bit more. But um, there is some fucking. Okay, there is some uh, brilliant kills in this movie as well. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I agree. I hundred percent agree. I, yeah, I'll just say it now. It's my number one, but I'll get to it. <laughs> right, so I'm not going to talk Rob, too much more. Rob knows. Uh, I'm not going. No, I actually thought you know. Don't say. Don't All say because right, no, I thought no. you had something else as your number one. But uh, yeah, yeah. But no, I, it, it was a toss up. It is a toss up. Actually, I'll, I'll have a, I'll have another think about it. <laughs> I'll let you talk about it more when you uh, select it. So that was my number three because we'll get full on into detail of this one. Uh, so what's your number two? Uh, my number two is. Uh, let me think about it. Nah, my number two is part six. Jason lives. Um, yeah, I love this movie from beginning to end. And uh, I think we talked about Final Girls. I think we talked about my favourite Final Girl from the Friday the 13th films is yep. Jennifer Cook, um, yep. as Me Megan. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's fantastic. But the whole film is just this tongue-in-cheek vibe that I absolutely love. And it, it's just awesome. It really is awesome. And uh, I like the lead fella in it. Uh, I like the cop dad. I like uh, um, it just the everything about it. Yeah, yeah. Everything about this movie, I adore. You know, there isn't yep. one part of this film where I'm like, you know, and the paintball scene and uh, where he, he literally, uh, you know, yes. just holds the holds the limbs up. It's brilliant. And uh, yeah, I could go on about this as a whole episode, but I won't. But uh, uh, yeah, I love, I love this movie. Yeah, I think it's absolutely fa and fantastic. And it is on level with Whatever my number one is, <laughs> um, I uh, agree with you. This is a good number two. I will uh, elaborate more on it when I select it because you know it's <laughs> going to be in my next two. Just like I'll let you elaborate on number four when yeah, you yeah, yeah. select that. So my number. Uh, <laughs> oh God, my we're, number we're shock two, well. <laughs> My number two is the original 1980. Um, yeah. It's my second favourite uh, Friday the 13th. I absolutely love this movie. 
I think it is absolutely fantastic. What the fuck is wrong with you, kid? Are you a mama's boy or something? You don't like Jason? You want to choose mama instead of Jason? <laughs> I, I, I do want to choose mama instead of Jason. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> <laughs> I do want to choose like, fucking grandpa probably fucked fucking Mrs. Voorhees um, <laughs> back in the day. This is uh, uh, Betsy Palmer. Fantastic. The whole opening of it where you, the first, it's just one of those slashes where you just don't know who the killer is. It's just so good. The hands in the bush. And then when you watch it more and more, you see the ring and then you see fucking, you know, yeah, yeah. all little bits and pieces that add up. Kevin Bacon's kill everything about this fuck. Oh, they didn't have to kill that fucking snake though. But um, <laughs> <laughs> everything about this movie, I absolutely love, and it was almost going to be my number one. But there's just this one little thing that fucking makes my number one be number one. But we'll get to that in a second. So, what's mm -hmm. your number one? What is your number one? Look, look, this is a hard one. Um, look. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this out a bit. No, I'm not. Uh, it's final chapter. <laughs> final chapter. There you go. Is my number one. Um, this film for me is just it's brilliant. Um, and uh, it's been my number one for a long time. Yeah, like because I've been like what you were saying before. I've changed a few yep. around over the yep. years, but final chapter has been my number one for about twenty years. And it was yep. the first Friday the Thirteenth film I ever watched. And yep. I didn't really get the humour in it back then because I was, like, uh, you know, uh, younger. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I I love it. And Crispin Glover and uh, his whole dance in it. I mean, yep. what more What more do you want in a film? You know, yep. Crispin and, and all the dead fuck shit. Uh, that whole, and they talk about that a lot for some oh, reason. Yeah. And I, I love every minute of it. And his mate, he's like this horny guy who never gets laid. It's so yep. it's so awesome because like yep. he's like he's like that creepy mate that everyone has had in their lifetime that never gets laid and yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can relate to that, that, that guy. yeah His yeah dance yeah and girls is just fucking gold you're a dead oh. fuck you're you're a dead fuck. <laughs> and he ends up and Crispin ends up getting the the most gorgeous girl and then throwing yeah. the panties in his face. And, yeah, then yeah. Get, and then and then it gets the freaking uh, uh, what should we call it the corkscrew and the, in the yeah. hand and the oh the corkscrew's the good yeah 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 and some of the kills and some of the girls in this one are gorgeous you know um, not because I watch him because of that obviously yeah. you know I'm not I'm not but like that's that. the 80s horror it's, that's what 80s horror is all about it is you know <laughs> yeah. yeah lots lots of boobs and blood in this one which I you know I always always like but. Uh, you know, in a Friday the Thirteenth film, but yeah, I find this one to be my favourite out of the lot by far. So that is yeah, a, definitely a good number one. That is a hands down brilliant number one. I salute you. <laughs> About Thank time you, the cunt said something fucking nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> so even though that was number three for me. My number, uh, your number one pick was number three for me. You know, <laughs> about five, ten years ago, that was my number one all the time. It was always my number one. When you said your first uh, one you ever watched, my first one I ever watched was um, Jason Takes Manhattan. Yeah. Yeah, in the 80s. My fucking uh, brother let me watch that. And my first oh. uh, Nightmare on Elm Street was um, number three uh, that I... Uh, oh, Dream Warriors. Nice. Yep, That's Dream Warriors. a brilliant film. Yeah. yeah. And my mum walked in right as fucking... Um, my brother let me watch it. My mum walked in right when he was fucking uh, tied up on the bed and the fucking nurse was there with the titties out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking watching? Didn't even didn't say turn it off or nothing, just... And walked. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny yeah, my shit. Brother, my brother let me watch it. He used to let me watch all the horror movies when I was a kid. Good nice. on him. Uh, my number one, pretty easy for me, uh, uh, was your number two, which is... Uh, I know. Part six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Part six. Look, this one, I love it. Um, I think um, uh, Tom Matthews, who played Tommy, was fantastic as Tommy. Um, he really played Tommy fucking good. I love the opening scene of this movie when they're um, 
digging the uh, grave out and electrocute lightning. That is cool. And the maggots in the face, it is just fucking awesome. Tommy fucked it up. Tommy fucking yeah. brought him back to life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that uh, scene, I love it. And his mate is only there to fucking help him dig him up. He gets fucked up and Tommy fucking escapes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and all the and, shit that the dad gives Tommy, you're like, yeah, he should be oh, doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And to, it's Tommy, the movie's Tommy versus the fucking uh, police cop, the, the the sergeant, deputy, whatever it fucking is. It's yeah. between. It's a war between them. Drop him out of town. Comes back. It's just a good fucking movie. The kills are fucking fantastic in this movie too. Everything about it. I love the ending. I love the fucking wrapping the chain around the friggin' uh, neck, and then you know you can have a sequel. Like, yeah. We won't oh. talk about part seven, uh, but you know you, can, <laughs> uh, you know you can. You uh, know you can. I like it, and I don't. I I like all of them, but we can talk about seven later on. But yeah. Yeah, man. I love the ending, how they set up for fucking number seven. I thought it was fantastic. And um, everything about part six, I fucking love. It's it's such a good horror movie. It's such a good slasher horror. Um, totally everything, agree. Everything about yeah. it. Yeah. For, it's so hard to split with me between a uh, final chapter and a uh, um uh you honestly a final chapter and uh part six you know but uh you know uh, there's uh, uh for me there's something about final chapter that and like yeah. for you there's something about part six you know and it's just exactly that's how and and maybe like in a few years they'll change for us you know exactly. that's the beauty, it's the, beauty it's of this it's the same series. as part one i think uh i think part one and part six are on par with me uh for the equal like but i think because jason is in uh, part six. That's why I guess the number one ranking for me might change mm. over the years because fucking number one just keeps on fucking getting higher and higher and higher on my list as the years go on. Each time I watch part one, I fucking love it even more and more and more because the way it's just directed and filmed, even the script and the dialogue was fine. I thought it was fine and um, everything about it, man. Yeah. Agree. Totally agree. Yep. <laughs> you're, you're a legend. It's, it's a good, it's a good top five we've both got. So I'll just uh, for everyone uh, chuck them on the screen. Um, so I had as my fifth <laughs> was uh, part eight. Then I had so my top five was number six, one, four, three, and eight. And Adzi's uh, top five were four, six, three, one, and five. Pretty damn fucking good. Pretty good. Your top, your top five there is uh, um, just uh, missing, uh, just missing part two. <laughs> That's actually, yeah. Is that right? For a yeah. uh, new, no force. Uh, isn't it five? Five. You oh, had. Uh, you, you chose five as your number five. You chose. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm getting. I'm getting confused. <laughs> I'm going the other way. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Oi, uh, you know I'm a dumb cunt. I'm trying to. I, I'm. I'm doing it from one to five. You're doing it from five to one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just reading <laughs> them down, like it is okay. on the screen. So uh, that's pretty fucking good. Um. So that's we both got fucking fantastic top fives. Mm. It's going to be hard to. Give but uh, we all know you know. what we all know what to do, right there. Yeah. Just chuck in the uh, uh, comments <laughs> down there, Rob, and um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, just do, do that. I don't have to say anything. I can just, yeah, just do that. Just right there. Yeah. So, Adzi30 on uh, Instagram. I'm on Instagram, Blood Popcorn One as well. Don't post much. Fucking uh, vote for your best. Uh, next week, we'll be doing whatever the fuck we're going to be back doing. Um, <laughs> like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. Until then, say hi to your fucking mum for me. Say hi to your mum for Adzi as well. We'll be back next week. <laughs> See <laughs>